let's talk about trading and what it means to trade on TradingView. So this video is all about buying, selling, market orders, limit orders, stops. We're going to go through all of that with the goal of making sure that you walk away comfortable knowing what these mean. And on TradingView, you can paper trade, so you can test all of this for free uh, without any risk, just in a simulated environment. You can, all, you can also connect your brokerage and trade with a connected brokerage uh, following this same uh, process. There are some videos on our profile, go check those out. So let's just dive right in. What does this mean? This is an introductory course, but if you are an experienced trader, stick around. Maybe you'll find something interesting or even better, contribute to the comments below. So as a trader or investor, you can do three things, really. Well, two, you can buy or you can sell. And the third would be you can wait or you can just hold. But for this video, let's talk about buying and selling and what it means. So if you buy, you are buying an asset, a share price, uh, a token, a contract. You are buying it and holding it because you think it will go up. If you are selling something, it means you think it will go down. Either you are getting rid of it, or you're taking profit now, or maybe you're shorting it because you th you're betting that it will continue downward. So you can buy and you can sell. Now, there are different ways to construct these orders. You can do a market order or a limit order, and you can also create stops. Okay, we're going to walk through each of these now one by one. All right, so let's do that. Here's a chart of Boeing, BA, and let's just say we want to buy some, and we just want to buy it right now. What we can do is make sure buy selected, make sure market is selected, and what market means is it means that we are just buying at the market. We don't care about our entry, we just want it. This actually is something that most traders or investors should probably avoid. Buying on impulse or just out of, you know, Instant gratification is rarely the smartest idea, and that's where a limit order comes into play. So if buying at market is just saying, get me the shares right now, I don't care where you get them at, just buy them, buy, buy, buy. And here's an example, buy, market, quantity will be the number of shares. So let's do 25 and then let's buy. So we just bought at market and we're already down $2 on the trade because we did not even, we did not care at all about the entry price. We just said, get us filled at the best possible place and just let the broker, or in this case, the paper trading account do it. And look at this, we're down already. So market orders really should be used carefully. And actually, now that we have this up, when you do trade on TradingView, every trade you have will show this live on the chart. You can choose to hide it or not. But basically, this shows your profit or loss. If it's red, it means that you're losing money. So we're down $5 on this trade. If it's green, it means we are up. Now, this shows you how many contracts we have. And what's really cool, not contracts, remember, this is Boeing, so it's a stock, shares, so we have 25 shares. What's really cool is if you click this number here, this 25, it says protect position. We can click this, and now we can actually define our take profits and our stop loss. So basically where we want to exit with a win or exit with a loss. But let's not get there just yet. Let's close this position. We can click this X, close position. By the way, partial close, maybe we only want to sell 10 shares. So it tells you that means we'd have 15 left, but let's dump the whole position. It was a bad trade. And we've sold it and we took a loss. So now let's just show you a limit order and how that works. A limit order is essentially you saying, I want to buy only, only if it hits a specific price. So let's do this in real time. We may not get filled. This is happening in real time. Let's draw this trend line here, or this, sorry, this horizontal line. And let's say we only want to buy at 263.94. We'll round up to 264. So we can click buy, limit. Then here's our order price. Let's type in 264. And let's do our quantity, 25. Let's not do a take profit or stop loss yet. We'll get there. Okay, the trade already cut through, so we got lucky. So let's reset this order, and let's see here. Let's actually take it off of this low here. So what's this? This is 
263.50. This is just an example. Remember, we are not saying you should trade like this or that this is a method that works. We're just trying to demonstrate what it means. So if you noticed, we did 263.50, and it actually says right here on our chart, buy limit 25. This means that we will buy 25 shares at 263.50. Rather than just doing a market order and going out and buying it, just who cares what price, we're going to sit back and wait. And let's see if we get filled here for a second. This is also a one-minute chart. This is a very low time frame, extremely difficult to trade on, super random. But we do want to use it showing this example. And yes, there are many sophisticated and clever traders or even investors out there who use one-minute time frames to follow price at a granular level and just study all buys and sells. It looks like we may miss getting filled on this, so perhaps we should just move on for now. We showed you buy, limit, we showed you market, and now let's show you a stop. What is a stop? A stop is you essentially saying that you want to exit a position at a specific price level. So if we're buying at 26, 263.50, well, what if price hits this, so it hits, and then immediately drops. Well, what we want to do is we actually want to set a stop so that we can get out before it gets any worse. We want to define our risk. In this case, just randomly, let's just say if it goes below 262.50, we're out. So that would bring us right around here. Let's move our toolbar right in this area. Two, oops, 262.50 would be in this area. So let's just set this trade. 262.50, we would type that in. And because, that's right, so this is a stop, so we wanna make sure it says sell. We had buy listed, but this is a stop order. We already have a buy order here, so now we're creating our stop. Sell 262.50, it's below the price, 25, sell. And now as you can see, you guessed it, we now have a buy order and a stop. And what we just showed you is the basics of constructing a trade on TradingView and what it means. You can buy, you can sell, you have a market order, a limit, and a stop. We've just shown you all three of these. And we only so far showed it, showed it to you from the buy side, but we can sell it if you were trying to short or exit a position. Let's close these for now and take you down one more journey, some tips and tricks for trading on trading view all right let's construct a trade from start to finish and let's go to something new let's go to a forex pair in case there's any forex traders watching this in this case we have your usd and let's construct a trade from here we're going to construct this trade from start to finish okay we are going to just examine some levels we immediately notice something here and here and here and what are we noticing we're noticing that for some reason in this area price seems to bounce and we're just going to mark those levels and let's just see let's just do a little bit more markings here just to get a feel for it and let's see let's change this to make this more like a high highlight and let's see here so we can kind of see there's a there's something going on here. Someone's buying there. It's maybe something we want to pay attention to. And maybe we're looking for a quick trade. Remember, these are just examples. This is a one-minute chart. We don't necessarily recommend this. Some people are good at it. Some not so much. These are just examples. You know, But you could do this same thing on a daily chart. We're just doing it on a minute chart so we can literally show you trade by trade. And you can watch these trades happen in real time. Okay, let's construct this trade. So 1.191 is the order is going to be the buy. So let's hit buy. Let's limit. 1.1901. And let's just do five. And now we've set up our buy limit at this level. So here's this level. And what we can do to visualize this actually is we can put a horizontal line across the chart, double click, go to its coordinates, and then paste in the exact coordinates. And now look at this. We see the level right here before we even set up the trade. So now we can see it. Another thing you can do to 
you know, get your trade started is use the long position tool. So basically what you do with the long position tool is you can visualize what your trade would look like, your entry, your exit, and then you can see that on the chart. And it's one way for you just to see, is this really a trade I want to take? But let's get back to it. So here's our buy limit. Here's our order. Here's our quantity. Now we're going to do take profit. What does take profit mean? Take profit means if we are going to buy here and say it bounces, so let's just say it's it hits, price goes here, hits, we get filled, and then it bounces, we're going to say there's a certain level that we want to sell at. We want to take our profit. So we check this box, take profit. Now we get to define the levels that we want to take profit in. And we can do a little research to try to figure out where exactly that is. But for the sake of this video, let's just speed this up a little and do 1.2. We could also define this by pips, by the amount of money gained on the trade, or the percentage. For now, though, we're just going to use price. And as you get more advanced, you could construct your trade based on pips gained, dollar, or percentage. These are totally up to you. Now let's do our stop loss. The stop loss is what we talked about earlier. This means if price were to suddenly dive and then we get filled at this red line, but then all of a sudden price goes even lower. Well, we want to make sure we have an exit plan. We, we are constructing this trade as a trade. So if sometimes it will go wrong. Not all trades are winners. Not all strategies work all the time but at least we can construct this plan for ourselves as we attempt to make a trade. And in this example, let's just make it particularly simple. And let's just say if it breaks the lows of this, the lows of this formation that we're watching or of this time frame that we're watching, we want out. It looks like the lows are 1.19. This would be the lows here. And so we can just do 1.19. And actually, to make this trade, yep, 1.19. Let's let's take it the whole way down to 1.19. And our take profit, we want 1.12. Let's actually move this up a little. Ooh, there we go. Let's go 1.21 to make this trade. We're we're gonna construct this trade to really show up on the chart. So we've set our take profit as 1.22. This, that is way the heck up here, which is what we want. We're going to go, we're going to swing for the fences. We want, we really think this thing will rip and we're going to do 1.22 and our stop loss is 1.19. And now that we've constructed the trade, we have a buy. It's a limit. Here's where we would buy. Here's our quantity. Here's our take profit and our stop loss. By the way, you can also, you have all of these parameters to engage in. And now let's click buy. And here's the trade. The trade just like that shows up on our chart. And it's basically saying we want to buy at a specific price. We can zoom out a little because uh, it's higher up. So the trade now shows up right on our chart. It shows our buy, our stop loss, and our take profit way up here. And now we can just sit back and relax. Will we get filled? what happens next and we can just watch or even better we can walk away because now we've defined everything about the trade we can literally walk away we have our stop loss set our buy limit and our take profit we don't just have to stare at the screen all day we've constructed this trade start to finish and let's just go into the one minute to see if we're close at all to getting filled and we probably won't get filled in this video, but you get the idea. You can see how it's visualized. We hope that this video helps you get started and really just shows you the basics of constructing a trade. Your order panel is over here to the right. You have your trading panel as well at the bottom of the chart. You can connect your brokerages, follow all of your orders, history, account history, trading journal. It's all right here. You can see your account balance, equity, open profit, and we're just connected to paper trading at the moment, but check this out. If we log out, click trading panel, look at all these brokerages that we can't connect to. Let's connect back into our paper trading account one last time because what we want to do is just quickly go over this order panel one more time.
sell, buy, market, limit, stop. And then of course you can construct a trade start to finish with your take profit and your stop loss parameters, pips, price, dollar, percentage, all up to you to define your trade. When you're ready, just go ahead and click buy and the trade will get constructed on your chart. Thanks so much for watching. Please ask any questions or comments below and we hope that you enjoyed this video. As always, you know, subscribe if you can, share it, let us know your thoughts and feedback. Thank you.